Cedar Point has just put out a teaser for their new for 2025 attraction, and it has given us a pretty good idea of what they're going to be building. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride as we break down Cedar Point's latest teaser. Let's get started. Alright, so Cedar Point just put out this teaser a few hours ago that would be giving us some hints on what their 2025 attraction was going to be, and it starts off by saying what sounds so sweet before going on to say may not be so so what we have so far is what sounds sweet may not be so and then we have be wary of what before going on to say lies fathom below starting to hint that this is going to be maybe like a spookier vibe of a coaster potentially because they're talking about like what's going to be deep death in the deep depths of the water and then it cuts to the scene where there's like water and a heart pumping kind of building on the mysterious vibe before we get this face of a person and when you look around her face, you can kind of see some scales to the side on us, which may be hinting at some certain creature hiding deep down in the water or whatever. Before cutting to something is surfacing 91924. So let's recap what we all got from this. We have what sounds so sweet may not be so, be wary of what lies fathoms below. I'm not gonna lie, but that is a very spooky vibe that's being given off. So I feel like there are a couple of options that we have here for what cedar point could potentially be doing with this so our first option is obviously something replacing snake river falls whether that be a water coaster uh, like a log flume or so something a, wa a water attraction that will be replacing snake river falls now that seems like the most obvious answer and what a lot of people would think cedar point probably should be doing with this and again it makes a lot of sense they kind of want to make up for top throw 2 getting delayed and all that now normally cedar fair slash six flags puts the most effort in into theming their major attractions like roller coasters and with the way they made the sound it sounds like this could be a highly themed attraction and i would highly doubt that they would just do this theming for like a log flume or something like that now if they were going to add something like a water coaster i could definitely see them going through the effort to add this theming and i know personally i would really love to see a water coaster in this plot of land i think it would fit very well we also have to keep in mind that top throw 2 was not cheap and they are still dealing with the loss from the old Top Thrill 2 situation. So there is a good chance Cedar Point is not ready to make another major investment such as a water coaster. Now I have to say, I would highly doubt that this would be any other water traction in that Snake River Falls plot of land if it wasn't a water coaster. Like I don't, I don't think there's going to be like a flume ride or a, like another River Rapids ride or something like that. Like, I kind of feel like it's going to either be a water coaster, or we're not getting something just yet. Anyways, we also do have the possibility that this is for a water park expansion. Now, apparently, there was a water slide complex that, rem that was removed, removed a couple years ago at Cedar Point Shores, and there is a chance that they want to add something like maybe a a water coaster like the one at Kings Island. Just to clarify, the water coaster I was talking about before was like a mock rides water coaster like Journey to Atlantis or something like that at SeaWorld. Anyways, they were willing to add one to Kings Island, which means they are, they've talked with manufacturers about building these before. I would not be shocked if this does end up being something like that. And you, it's easier to theme a water coaster than just like a traditional water slide complex. Now I'm not saying that a traditional water slide complex is out of the question because it is very much a possibility but i haven't really seen many water parks go through that f level of effort per for potentially theming and like creating a storyline for just the normal water slide complex and honestly if we think about it, that could be a really cool water coaster theme they can make it like the most immersive water coaster there really is out at least at, like a regional amusement park but honestly i do really like this idea i feel like it's been a quite some time that we've heard of, that we've heard about Cedar Point doing anything to their water park. So this is probably it's probably time for an investment over there. So again, I would not be super shocked. But we have also one more option that could potentially be what this whole teaser is about. And I must admit it's a bit it's a bit of a wild card here. But I do not think this should be entirely out of the question. So if you remember Adventure Port at Kings Island, their new themed land that they announced last year, they were teasing it and announcing it in like October, really late in the season. Similar to this teaser, it's really late. Most parks have shut down from daily operation. And it would seem weird if Cedar Point was teasing like a water coaster, like a mock rides water coaster or something like that, or even like a major water, a water park edition 
like for instance King's Island, they've already teased and announced their water park edition. So it would seem a little weird to add such a major attraction like tease it with like so late in the season. Normally that's done more like August. So it kind of makes me wonder, is this going to be more of like a re-themed land or area that they're going to add? Now I like Rivertown's theme in general, but like the area outside, like by Maverick, it could use a bit of a spruce up, you know? And a cool aquatic like spooky theme could be really cool right there. And then they could add like some flat rides, some family water rides or something like that to kind of tie out the tire tie in the whole area to this like new aquatic theme. I honestly think they could make it look really, really cool. Now I mean it might be a little out of place, I'm not gonna lie. It probably will be a little out of place if they did go through with this plan, but it's still a cool idea, honestly. Another little wild card could be they're doing some like sort of dark ride theme to this, but that's like I would say that's pretty unlikely. Now, another option I think is prob is a, a lot less of a wild card is what if they're teasing either a new themed area or new haunted house for Halloween Haunt at Cedar Point. Now, hear me out on this. Theme parks don't normally do teasers for like haunted houses like this, but what if Cedar Point was maybe doing a bit like of a wider overhaul potentially on their haunt and wanted to make a splash like a really cool different haunted house. Now I know the water theme doesn't really like fit Halloween haunt very well, but then again, you saw the teaser, it was going for more of a spooky mysterious vibe, which would make sense as like a haunted house or something. And I feel like they could find a way to make it like a really cool unique haunted house experience that you're not going to get at pretty much any other park. Now yes, is this probably not going to happen? Yes, I do not expect this to happen. But it, it's definitely a possibility. I just feel like if Cedar Point was doing something really big, the, like a new coaster or something, like even like a major water ride, I feel like they would have done the teaser earlier. It doesn't make sense to do a teaser such so late for like a major attraction. Then again, this is a really good time. Think Halloween Haunt starts in a week or two. You know, you're trying to get people hyped up for the Halloween season. You want some extra publicity. Think you put out a short minute teaser and do a big announcement for like a cool new haunted house you have? It does kind of make sense. So what do I think is most likely to happen? I'd still say a Snake River Falls replacement like a Mock Rides water coaster is pretty likely. I also think the water park edition with a, like a water coaster, like a tube one, would also be pretty likely. And I would probably bank on the first two I just said. But then again, I don't know. It just With the way the teaser was made, it kind of makes me feel like this could be related to Haunt in some way, shape, or form. But of course, we're going to have to wait till September 19th to find out. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on coverage of that announcement. Because I have a feeling it's going to be pretty cool. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below. Subscribe for more theme park content coming your way. And if you want to hear about the Golden Ticket Awards, because let's just say they were interesting, check out the video on your screen right now. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.